Hello, hello, hello. Alright, test, test, test. Okay, um, I don't know how this audio is going to work out. Essentially, the purpose of this video is to help keep the Iron Europe mod alive. Right now, there's not that many people. There were a few more people earlier. But right now, this is what we're working with. It's a very cool mod. It's, uh, built off the, uh, what's it called? The Napoleonic Wars, uh, DLC. So it's a mod for that. You need that for Mountain Blade. So basically, the purpose of this video, like I said, is just to keep it alive, to show support, and I just died. Um, there are some clans that I believe uh, play on this because I was in a server earlier, and it was humans versus bots. Which, if you play Napoleonic Wars, you know what that is. Basically, just a bunch of bots, and then like maybe a few humans leading the bots against a uh, varied amount of humans. Usually, like 200 people, 200 bots. I mean, versus up to 50 people, sometimes more. Yeah. Um. Right now, I'm on the French side. Right now, there was only two sides in this game, this mod: the French and the Germans, Deutsche Strike and the République Française. Um. So yeah, as you can see, I am basically a standard infantryman, troop select, this is a uh, standard standard. Alright, so here you have basic rifleman, support, which is just to have ammo boxes and bandages, kind of like a medic role. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure how the medics work in this game. Officers, they actually have a whistle, which is kind of cool. Bomb squad is unfortunately disabled because there's too many people in it, and there's nice machine gunner, which is just they walk around with the... Uh, Chache rifle, uh, machine gun. Ammo carrier, they come around with ammo, they have a pistol, whatever. Artillery, they actually have a, I believe they spawn with a mortar, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't used that class. They have grenaders, they just run around, they have grenades, I don't know how that works. Actually, they might not have grenades because it's not saying that they do. Heavy machine gunner, they have a stationed MG, which I believe is a Hotchkiss 1914 or whatever, then of course another ammo barrier specifically for that. Um, again, a pistol as well for the ammo bear bearer. Support, obviously, you're gonna have a sapper. He has a rifle, so that's always cool. Uh, sniper, unfortunately, I don't know how this, the, the, uh, whoops. I don't know how, I don't know how the scope works, but they basically get a, a rifle and it has a scope. Sentinel, I don't really get the purpose of them. Again, the medics, I don't know how any of this works. It shows that it can be selected. Maybe at a later time they can change that. This is on. This is off of patch 1.2. Of course, you have a commander. So that's basically all the things for the French side. It's essentially the same on the other side, just different skins and different abilities, perhaps. Um, one thing that's really cool is, of course, you can uh, attach and detach the bayonet. It gives you a warning for when you're de detaching the bayonet. And of course you press P again, but again, as far as I know, you can only do this for the uh, Rifleman on the squad. Standard infantry. Rifle squad. Rifleman. As far as I know, that's the only way you can attach the bayonet. So there you go, you have bayonet attached, press X, of course. And then in melee mode, you have it like this. Um, I'm not doing so special, so they're fine with me talking. So yeah, let's just go and attack these guys. Nope, oh, or die. Whichever. Uh, the purpose of this these this video, I'm hoping to make more. Again, to uh, keep this community alive, add to the community. Uh, I'm in a way a part of the modders that make this mod. Uh, I have no personal contact with them. Game just end because I guess time ran out. So I believe it's just gonna reset the map. But yeah, again, I'm not, like, being swayed to do this, uh, it's a World War One mod, it's pretty cool. We do have Verdun, but that's not specifically a map, or a mod, rather. So it's kind of, it, it still has to be polished as well. This also needs to be polished. Um, I'm gonna put the, uh, stop reloading, what are we doing? I'm gonna put the mod link in the description. You do have to do patch 1.2 because, uh, 
What? I have the correct bayonet equips. Okay. Alright, there just seems to be some sort of error here where I can't select the bayonet. I don't quite comprehend that. There we go, that was weird. As you can see, there's things that aren't polished, so I'm not going to click the bayonet again. Press P. P. Um, I'm just telling you some of the basic stuff, so that way you know once you get in the game, you're like, oh, how do I go for bayonet? Well, press P. Now you have to have the proper bayonet, of course, because as you saw, it just gives me an error. Um, I'm missing, and I got shot. Yeah, it looks like some more people left. So, yeah. I'm hoping to just chill on here for a little bit. What time is it? Shift tab. Alright, my shift tab's not working. I'm on Steam, of course, and that is a button. And he's stuck running. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could do that. It's kind of cool, actually. I haven't played the boy on it for a while. Unfortunately, you have to aim down sides, which is right click, right mouse button. Uh, to shoot, it's very strange. I don't know if that was intentional or not. This guy's probably gonna get stabbed in the back or something. That was exactly what happened, and I know I, I I don't understand what's going on, honestly. The one good thing about the French main rifle, they have a uh, eight round magazine, internal magazine, so that's cool. Germans, I believe, only have five. The French weapons vary, I know, in real life. I don't know how they do it specifically in the spot. I know there was one that had five rounds. But they do have a rifle that only has three rounds for some reason. Uh, unfortunately, you have to press Q, which is to reload. To press Q for every round to reload. Same goes for revolvers. I believe the Ruby pistol, which is basically a standard semi automatic pistol, it has a magazine. That probably doesn't take Q for each time. I'm sure we'll see later on. Don't know what he's doing, because it's uh... Okay, I press Q. Let's see if it does each one. Nope, I have to press Q each time. Okay, that's kind of an inefficient system in my opinion. But like I said, they're polishing it and whatever, so... Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, get this game popularized by more bigger YouTubers. See if I can get them to at least look at it or something. See if they can make some talk about it. Because I know if certain YouTubers do it, people will probably find out. I just looked this up on my own because I saw somebody posted something on Facebook, so I was like, I wonder if that's really a thing. And well, obviously, as you can see, it was. That's long distance grenade. Nope, oh, wrong button. Run, run, jump, jump, jump. Oh, what already went off. As the same goes with the Napoleonic Wars, you're generally more accurate if you hit the right button. What I mean by that is there's a little bit of variance in how you actually like see things in first person versus third person. As you can see, it's a little bit lower for first person, which can mess with your shots. That is just a general game mechanic, I don't think the monitor really mess with that. Uh, the animation for running around with the bayonet is kinda cool. Unless they updated that in the Pulling Out Force, which I haven't played in a while. Uh, I believe the modders did that themselves. If not, it's cool on the other end. Where did I get shot from? They do have a cool bleed out mechanic where if you get shot your character can start bleeding. Uh, like I said, the um, medics are either broken or I just don't know how to use them. I know how to heal myself, but that's only if I'm like... Uh, I'll switch to it after I die. To show you. It's very strange. Medical core. Okay.
Not sure where that was from. Oh, wow. Uh, the gun icons are very strange, as you can see in the lower left hand corner. They don't make sense necessarily. So, what it is that's actually being used. These rifles are obviously more accurate because they're not muskets and they have a smooth bore. So, that's definitely something different to add on. Okay, now let me show you how this works. Or at least how I heal myself. You hit them, and then it says Stuka, which I'm Stuka. So I don't understand why it helps me heal me if I'm hitting them. That seems like a flaw somewhere in the mechanics. And again, because that's not a general game mechanic for Napoleonic Wars, it's not something that the modders have any sort of a help with. They have to do that on their own, unfortunately. And this guy got spawn killed. I was going to. Nope, apparently I can't aim. As you can see with the revolver, you need to load each round. It was annoying. Uh, if I get shot and survive, you'll probably see some blood. Hopefully that happens sometime shortly, if you haven't already seen it. Like, the blood will start to spewing out of the body or something to show that you're bleeding. And you'll slowly lose health. Oh, uh, he bled out. Alright. So we did kind of get spawn camp, just not in the way that I expected. Spawn killed, rather. This is a team deathmatch server if you haven't figured that out already. Jeez, people left. As you can see, that's a problem because for the few people that do stay, well, yeah, kind of sucks. Now, let's see if I'm bleeding. Yep, uh, there's a little trickle of blood. In there. And and the weird thing is, I can't heal myself if I'm trying to do something else. Like right now I want to heal myself, but I can't. I believe I actually just got shot there, but... Let's do this up, shoot, no. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, fix bayonets. So, oh, are you kidding me? Not this again. Why? Why you do this to me? I don't get why this thing. And then the selections, for whatever reason, it's derpy. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Stop it. Okay, now let me, wait, if that's gonna work there, let me try something else. Cause I feel like an idiot now if that's working in the other direction that doesn't work. Really no, this one doesn't work either. And I just died. Alright, now we have proper bayonet and we can actually poke some people. I'm sure they'll allow us to... Um get different rifles that the French you did use like the Berthier, that's available in other classes but as you can see you can have a different bayonet I'm assuming that they're going to set up that skin and what have you probably shouldn't have done that but whatever um, earlier when there was I would say there was about like 10 people on each side maybe um, or maybe not even but close ish we are the French, as you can see, I'm so French. And uh, the Germans actually charged our position. We're pretty successful. We did win last round. I don't remember if I was recording them. I want to say we were, but I don't remember. As you can see, the sapper put up positions. They do have iron, iron, whatever you want to call that, little walls. Unfortunately, you can't make proper uh, trenches based just off the uh, engineer class, unfortunately. It's a bit whatever, but yeah. As cool as it is, I just went through there. It's, you know, not realistic. But then again, this game isn't meant for, like, super realism. Anyways, yeah, I like uh, historic games. Uh, as you can see, some of the games I have played are, like, Mother Russia 2. Napoleonic Wars, of course, video I made. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get a new video recorder system, because our last video I used using the fraps that I have, it didn't
came out of 480 for some reason. And, uh, I know I personally prefer one that would, uh, just the highest that I can get it. Not necessarily 1080, but at least 720. 720 looks nice, 480 looks terrible. It's a very strange difference. As you can see, the bodies can fill up really quickly on Team Deathmatch. Especially when we have more people. How did they get a bot? I'm just gonna take out that barrier because logic. There are also barbed wire fences. They're kind of cool. There's like large barbed wire fence and uh, small barbed wire fence. Uh, the difference is length, and the small barbed wire fence is on X's. If that makes any sense to you. The large one would be like that iron bit back there, but it's up longer, but it would be straight like that. I don't feel like getting on the engineer class right now. But maybe I'll do it later. Oh, look, he put up a barrier. See? There's the large barbed wire fence. And again, you have the sandbags and the, uh. Don't let me get screwed here. Unless one of them spawns behind me. And I don't. Derp. Yeah, let's get it done. Done. What, what, why can't I shoot? Oh, I think I must have pressed B twice or something. Alright, so I'm derping hard here. Alright, well, screw it. We have banded equipment, might as well just do this. <sighs> so I'm not doing well, but then again, this is just... Uh, this is like a gameplay video, and also it's just me talking about it. I'm hoping it's not too loud, because the mic's right next to my face. I don't know why it hits the ground. Yeah, I just got this mod today. Like I said, I saw it on Facebook or whatever. Uh, I believe you can shoot through the hard wire fence. We'll see in a second. Because I know in the other game, whatever would be would uh, be like an actual fence. So I'm just gonna chill here so we can shoot here. Yeah. All right. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it does damage to when you're right next to it. Obviously, I was right next to it. I wasn't like, trying to put myself on it. They create, create their own little defenses. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, if you want to add me on scene and then we can play this together to hopefully build up more popularity, uh, I'll put my Steam name in the description. What time is it?